What's up guys? This is CG with Politics Mob and this is the very first Mob Monday. Ask what you can do for your country. And always will be the United States of America. We're gonna build the wall. Tear down this wall. For the last six months or so, I've been having a really good time making these politics mob videos. But one thing I've realized is that in 2018 and beyond, people just don't have any free time. So one thing I wanna start doing every Monday, every mob Monday, is making a video that just kinda of goes through the major events from the previous week as far as politics are concerned. Um, and this is gonna be the first one. So without further ado, let's get into the very first mob Monday. All right, on Monday, the news cycle was completely dominated by the Sam Nunberg meltdown. You took a very long nap on Monday. You missed the Sam Nunberg show, which went on and on and on. You'd rather spend possibly a year in jail than yeah, 80 I'm hours going to jail. I'm not emails. going to jail. Why? Why do I have to give that to the, to the government? Well, I mean, because it's a special prosecutor and he's requesting information. Well, and he's it's clearly not wise to publicly announce that you're going to ignore the subpoena from a grand jury, but that's what my man did. All right, Tuesday was actually a huge day in the news because the senior economic advisor to Donald Trump resigned. He did so because Donald Trump has lately been talking about putting tariffs on imported steel and aluminum, and Gary Cohn thinks that this is a horrible idea. Left without a place to turn, he decided he would rather not be economic advisor anymore. This is also a big deal because a lot of political analysts think that this is going to very much upset the balance in the White House. Donald Trump, in his own words, has said that he likes having different points of view. He pits people against each other with different points of view and then makes a decision based on the information. So he likes to have different factions, whether he's running his business or the White House or what have you. That's something that he likes to do. For example, Steve Bannon often referred to Gary Cohn, Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner as the West Wing Democrats. This kind of a knock on the fact that they were the more liberal people in the administration as far as who was putting out points of view and who had the president's ear. With Jared Kushner losing his security clearance and now with Gary Cohn resigning, I think it's logical to, to reasonably assume that the balance of the kind of people that are gonna be giving Donald Trump their opinions on political matters is gonna be a little bit different than it used to be in the past. Moving on to more news Tuesday, Stormy Daniels, real name Stephanie Clifford. If you're not familiar with Stormy Daniels, she is the adult film actress that allegedly had an affair with Donald Trump in 2006 and 2007. She was also allegedly paid hush money by the Trump campaign to keep quiet about said affair while he was running for president for obvious reasons. Um, that's a story that's been blowing up for the last few months or so. Uh, the newest development is that Stormy Daniels and her lawyer have now decided that the non-disclosure agreement that she signed with Donald Trump, allegedly signed with Donald Trump was not signed by Donald Trump and because of that that it's null and void. So they are petitioning right now to have that non-disclosure agreement voided and she's also planning on suing the president. So that was another big news thing that came out of Tuesday. All right, so on Wednesday we got some news that Trump may have questioned people that are involved in the Russia probe. And I know you probably have Russia probe fatigue at this point but it is still an ongoing developing story so I think it's something that people should pay attention to no matter how you feel about it. On Wednesday we found out that Donald Trump may have questioned some of the people that have been questioned by the grand jury led by Robert Mueller. A lot of people think that this might have been improper, but not necessarily illegal. The particular witnesses in question are White House counsel Don McGahn and former chief of staff Reince Priebus. Like I said, if once this is all fleshed out, it, the, at the worst case scenario, this would be witness tampering, which is obviously a crime. Best case scenario, it was just, he just asked a few people that he knows some questions about what they went through, which no big deal. Thursday was another huge news day because the White House received an official letter from Kim Jong-un requesting a meeting. The letter was delivered by senior official from the South Korean government. Now, based on the information in the announcement, the North Koreans have agreed to completely stop their development of nuclear technology. This would be a huge deal if that's the case. However, take note, the North Koreans have come to the bargaining table with items like this before and said, hey, you know what? Give us this, lift this sanction, lift that sanction, we'll stop nuclear production. And then us or China or whoever lifts the sanction and then they walk away from the negotiating table. So I think we need to be cautious Cautious, cautiously optimistic, or maybe not optimistic at all, about what could come of the meeting with North Korea, if it even happens. But it is a big deal that the North Koreans reached out to the president directly requesting a meeting and saying that they do want to stop their nuclear program. It's a massive, huge deal. Friday was easily my favorite day in the news, not because it was particularly informative, but it was pretty damn entertaining because Sam Nunberg, Mr. I'm not gonna tell anybody anything, uh, definitely did go testify to the grand jury on Friday. This is a sight he said we wouldn't see. Former Trump campaign aide Sam Nunberg 
arriving at federal court on Friday. But I think the more important news coming out of Friday was the gun control law that was signed by Republican Governor Rick Scott of Florida. And the law had a lot of changes to current gun policy in a, we can say purple state. I don't think Florida's necessarily a red state. It swings blue or red, depending on the political climate. But it's definitely not, you know, New York or California. So I do think it's a big deal that uh, gun control legislation was signed. And it's kind of a big deal what was signed. So I'll tell you about what was in the law right now. The new law raises the minimum age of firearm purchases to 21. It imposes a three day waiting period for a lot of different guns, but not all. It bans bump stocks completely and it gives the authority to arm some people at schools. Um, Donald Trump was made very popular news last month after the Parkland shooting for saying that teachers should be armed. Some people took this seriously, some people did not. The new Florida law leaves the ability for Florida teachers and, and approved staff members to carry guns. There's an, appro uh, <clears throat> there's an important caveat here though, which is that these schools and administrators have to opt in to the program. They are not required to carry guns, but if the people that want to do this opt into the program and they get approved, you might start seeing some armed faculty and staff on campuses in Florida very soon. All right, guys, if you like this video and you are on Facebook or YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps support the content, lets me know what you guys like and don't like so I can continue to make content in the future that people actually want to see. If you're on Facebook, please go over to the Politics Mob Facebook page, like and follow so you can get updates on when I post new videos. If you are on YouTube, please like, please head over to the channel and subscribe. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you get notifications when new videos are out. As always, I'm CG. This is Politics Mob. Thank you so much for watching. Learn, think for yourself, rise up, create change, whatever that change means to you.